Tip it off. My name is Michael Kasmer. I teach uh, physical education at Briar Glen Elementary School. This is the second year I've taught this unit. Um, it's a unit that uses the sport ed model of teaching. The sport ed model of teaching is a style of teaching that is supposed to mimic a youth basketball league. The best part about this unit is it is cross-curricular. It involves art, music, library resources. We have five teams in each class, two basketball courts, so one team is always off. So we have off-duty jobs. Some of those jobs include a refereeing. So we have a day built into the unit where we talk about what you should look for and what calls you should make when you're refereeing. Uh, we have statistic keepers. So a couple kids will watch each game and they will keep track. The two stats we keep track of are points and rebounds. Each class has five student coaches. We have a coaches meeting. During this coaches meeting we have amazing discussion on what it takes to be a good coach and I kind of lead them through what a practice should look like and then they go through a week or two of student-led practices so these coaches have a little bit of added responsibility outside of the actual PE time. We tapped into some of our art resources and we take a day we bring in the iPads and teams sit and create their logos and it's an app uh, called Assembly that the students have used in art class before so they're already familiar with the product Another day, uh, we head down to the library and we do introduction videos. Through library resources, we have our green screen. Students stand in front of the green screen with basketballs for about 20 to 25 seconds. I then, behind the scenes, add some music, some cool backgrounds um, so they can be introduced. Please welcome the scary rhinos, the fearless fighters, the BG Raptors. The Quadruplet Commanders, the Rams, the Slender Chickens, the Wolves. Please welcome the Chickadoodles, Dunkin' Donuts, come the King Ballers, the Smart Cookies, the Bullseyes, the Fancy Penguins, the Ice Hoops. The Fireballs, the Hat Players with a hidden number 15 in the hat. Last but not least, we tapped in the music. So in our grand finale here, Miss Lehman's been working with the kids on a halftime show. So we had kids performing using musical instruments as our halftime performance for our championship game, which is really awesome. Turned out pretty great. Game time! There's one champion from each class that will be playing on the main stage here in this game. Early on, I really hammer home the importance of winning and losing with respect, keeping your head up. If I look at the students lined up before they hit the hallway, I, I should not know who won and lost. And that takes time. Early on, you see some tears, frustration, but even in these championship games, by the end of it, everyone had their head up, they had fun. This end product really shows that these kids were able to win, lose respectfully. We were able to keep score, we were able to keep stats, we were able to get eliminated, we were able to advance, and everyone was having just a really good time here. And there. Oftentimes, as an educator, I think to myself when I look at a class, how am I going to reach out to every kid? When parents or students um, come up to me and say, my, you know, my son or daughter isn't super athletic, but it's been the topic of our dinner conversation for the last six, seven weeks because they're so pumped about coming and, and, and doing this unit um, and they really took a liking to maybe performing for the halftime show or they had a huge role in that logo design and they made it so cool that they just wanted to see that logo and they wanted to see it um, introduced before the games and whatnot. So the best part about this unit is everyone is involved everyone finds something that they like and it's just truly enjoyable for every student no matter where their ability is